Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mabel and I hope you are all doing well. Today I'd like to share with you how to make this amazing and delicious abula, which is going to be featuring roasted catfish stew, ewedu soup and bean soup or bean stew or bean sauce, also known as begiri. If you want to see how I made these combinations, keep watching and don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Also turn on the bell notification so as to get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you. To begin, I start by blending up some peppers. I have a whole lot of peppers in. These are the peppers that were in my freezer. I actually brought out everything and I'm blending it up. Once everything is nicely blended like this, I'll add it into a pot and put it on the heat to start boiling. This is going to reduce the time of frying the stew. While that is boiling, I'll go ahead to share with you the rest of the ingredients which you are going to be needing to make the soup. First, I have some dried fish here. These are roasted catfish and roasted panla fish. And I'll just be using the combination of these two fishes. They are so amazing. And the aroma and flavor from this fish is divine. Next, I have some komo which I have washed, and komo is cow skin. And I cannot imagine a catfish stew without komo in it. I also have some diced onions. I have the palm oil, of course. I have the seasonings. I will be using crayfish seasoning for this stew. I also have some salt to taste. And for the begiri. Today I will be using white beans. You can actually use any beans you can find or any beans of your choice. I chose to use white beans today and I also have it already washed and soaked. Next I have the Ewedu leaves. This is what Ewedu leaves is looking like and it is also known to be jute leaves. To season the Ewedu soup, I will be using some low-cost beans. I also have bicarbonate of soda. This is just to make the leaf to cook faster and let it soften faster. And for the begiri, we are going to be adding some dried pepper. This is powdered hot pepper actually. This is hot pepper and I will be adding it to the begiri. Now that all that is set, I'll go ahead to pluck the jute leaves. And this is how you pluck it. You pluck it out from the stem. You don't want to add the stem to it. Pluck it like this and set it aside. Now I'll add everything inside the bowl. Add enough water to wash. And I'm also going to add in some salt. Wash this pretty well and set it aside. And once that is done, I'll go ahead to slice the Ewedu leaves. I don't do this often, but whenever I have Ewedu leaves that is wider like this, I slice it up a bit so it can cook faster. Once that is done, I already have a pot of water in the fire and that has been boiling. Right now, I will add in some bicarbonate of soda and pour in all the sliced jute leaves. Cover this and allow it to start boiling. While on the other hand, I added the washed beans inside a pot of boiling water. Cover this and allow it to start cooking as well. And by this time, I was already cooking three different things at the same time. I was cooking the beans, boiling the peppers, and boiling the Ewedu leaves. Now I check on the pot of the juice leaves 
and it has been boiling i'll go ahead to check if it's softened this is how you know if it is cooked and done take some out of the pot and once you can press it with your ends with your finger like this and it's mashed that is how you know the leaves are cooked right now i'll add in the locust beans and i'm also going to add a bit of salt and one seasoning cube stir everything together and cover to cook for another one minute this is because we are not going to be cooking it after beating the eredu leaves it has been one minute already take the eredu out of the heat and start beating it like this and the flavor you get from this method is more more delicious and more more flavorful than you using a blender and this is my favorite method Once that is done, cover it and it is done. You don't need to cook it again. Next, in the pan, I will add the palm oil into that and allow it to heat up a bit before adding the diced onions. Fry this for about two minutes and it's time for me to add the blended boiled peppers. Add everything into the pan and stir together to combine next i'll go ahead to add the washed pomo into it and cover this and allow it to start cooking while that was cooking i check on the beans and it has been cooking it is done now i'll take it off the heat and it's time for me to blend Pop everything inside the blender and bring it to a smooth blend. Once that is done, add it back into the pot. Rinse out the jar and add it into it. Stir together because you need to stir this beans soup. You don't want it to develop lumps. Add a little bit of salt, the dried powdered pepper and the seasoning cube. Combine everything together like this and add in a bit of palm oil to it. Stir everything together pretty well and cover for another one minute. Allow it to boil up. Once that is done, take it off the heat and I went back to check on the stew. It has been boiling. All I do now is just combine everything together and it's time for me to season it with some salt. I also added in the crayfish seasonings, stir everything together and add the fish into it. Cover it again and allow it to cook for another 10 minutes. And 10 minutes later, I came back to open it up and look at that. The stew was so good. The flavor coming out from this pot of stew was so so delicious and it was full of flavors and aromas i'll carefully stir and combine everything together and the stew is done take it off the heat and serve like i said we are enjoying this in a abula way and it was so so good you can have this with amala, with pounded yam, with a bar, semo. Today we are having this with semo. You can have it with wheat and it's still going to be so delicious. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also share this video with your friends and family. Thank you also so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next one. Bye.